the budding process of the novel coronavirus 2019. Once synthesized, the structural proteins S, M and E are released from the endoplasmatic reticulum within COP2 vesicles, which will transport them to other cell compartments. The E and M proteins are transported to the ER Golgi intermediate compartment, ERGIC, which lies between the Golgi and the ER. The S proteins will take another route and are transported to the Golgi, where they are glycosylated and mature. Once post-translational modifications have occurred, the S proteins are also transported to the ERGIC. While the S, M and E proteins are being translocated through the cell, the viral RNA is packed into double membrane vesicles in the vesicle network between the ER and the ergic. Once the RNA is ready to be packed into the viral particles, it exits the network through nuclear pores and will bind to another structural protein, the N protein, which is found within the nucleoplasm. The N proteins and cold RNA gets condensed before the whole complex wanders to join the other three structural proteins at the budding site, the ergic. The inward budding of the virus will be induced by the protein interaction between the M and N proteins. To ensure accurate curvature and thus formation of a viable viral particle, the M and E proteins interact as soon as the inward budding begins. The final product of the budding process is a fully formed virus containing an envelope with all membrane envelope proteins as well as internal RNA-N protein complexes. These fully formed virus will move through the Golgi and will mature whilst within Inside the viral particle, the N proteins form the nuclear capsid encasing the RNA for more protection. On the outside of the virus, the S and M protein form an assembly competent complex, which will provide a site of budding out of the Golgi. As the virus travels through the Golgi, the trans area of the Golgi swells and produces smooth vesicles. Lastly, the virus spots into the smooth vesicle and heads for the plasma membrane. The vesicle exits the cell via membrane fusion.